nihilism is a complicated branch of philosophy that essentially says nothing matters, no matter what you do. So let's talk about Zeno's paradox. About 2,700 years ago, a schmott guy named Zeno offered up a little challenge. He said that essentially motion is impossible because no matter where you go, you have to go halfway first to be able to get there. And before you get that, you have to go halfway and halfway and halfway. Essentially, you never get anywhere because before you ever get anywhere, you have to be able to travel half the distance. This is, on the face of it, stupid. Because you made it to your mailbox this morning. If you need a more complicated mathematical explanation, it's because the paradoxes cancel each other out. If you need an infinite number of uh, divisible differences in any measurable phenomenon, uh, that is undone by the fact that you are moving a finite distance to a finite goal. The infinities in between don't matter. But there's movies and chatter and physics all being excited about us and having multiverses right now. So, since the multiverse is now a thing, how does nihilism or the notion that everything's happening to us all the time actually make a difference in counseling? Or in the words of the most famous nihilist, Yeah, whatever, there's no rules, I don't care. I think the idea here is that since whatever we do has another choice or decision being made somewhere else, nothing matters what we do, so who cares? Do whatever. Sounds great, right? Complete absolution, no responsibility for any actions because they all take place. The problem is that the infinities don't matter. You are the one in this universe. Like Zeno's paradox, using the infinite measuring stick to proclaim that nothing matters is ineffective. It's like saying it doesn't matter if I make my bed in the morning because in six billion years the sun will explode. Since you are the one living this life right now, you are the one who has the consequences to deal with your decisions. And all of that is when a entirely too finite measurable span your life. Now, everything might be happening everywhere all at once, but you are happening here and now. Your decisions, including the bad ones, have consequences, and they need to be owned up to within yourself, if not to the world at large. The simplest way to make things work better for you and avoid the nihilistic issue at hand is to go out and make some good decisions. And, you know, brag about understanding Zeno's paradox and nihilism.